Hey y'all, welcome back to Geek's Woodshop. This time we're going to build this cool wooden long sword with this leaf shaped blade. Um, I found a beautiful piece of spalted maple to turn for the pommel. I really like how this one turned out. And I'm gonna make the scabbard. Now this is only the second scabbard I've made and I used a different technique each time. Still kind of experimenting on which, uh, which, on which one, uh, on what method, you know, I think is going to work best overall, but let's get to it. I tend to start most of these sword builds with the blade, and usually I'm creating one sword, one blade. This time I shaped the blade on a thicker board and then cut that into three potential blades. It was just something different to try if I was going to create a few swords at a time. A common question that shows up in the comments for these sword videos is what kind of router bit is used to shape these blades? And the answer is panel router bits for shaping uh, cabinet door panels. And the bits come in different profiles, some of them more complicated, but I'm using a simple bit that creates a large, shallow curve. As usual though, routing the tip of the blade it's not just difficult, it's a dangerous cut, so I tend to do the final finishing with a block plane. On one of my other sword videos, the Ranger Sword, that was the first time I used this method of shaping the handle on a lathe, which I really enjoy, but then later cutting that center out to make that handle oval. This has easily become my favorite method for building the handles.
when it comes to shaping pommels, I tend to make pommels that are larger than what you might see on metal long swords. Part of that is preference. I like the style, I like the visual weight of this pommel. And of course, using wood, I don't have to worry about the actual weight or imbalance of it. Also for me, I love to celebrate that I, I make these from wood and this block of maple had some beautiful spalting in it. So I'm really glad that came through. The cross guard on this one was not that fancy. I could cut the basic form out on the bandsaw, but then adding a few bevels uh, helped the overall look of it. It's always immensely satisfying to finally put all the pieces together. And then at last, we get to glue it up. So then onto the scabbard. The common method for making a scabbard is to cut a wider board in half and carve out the inside uh, to accommodate the blade and then glue it back together. However, I like to experiment and try some different things. So instead, I was trying a method of basically building a box around the blade. And this worked out pretty well. It definitely creates more of a boxy profile, uh, but that also worked better in this case and it made it easier for me to apply some laser cut details later on. Thank you. 
You know, holding and swinging a sword is a fun and visceral experience on its own, but drawing it from the scabbard or sliding it back in and hearing it click into place is also super satisfying. So this is definitely not the last sword and scabbard combo I'm gonna make. Really happy with how this one turned out. But please do let me know what you think or if you might have approached any of these steps differently. Let me know what you think uh, uh, we should build next. Thanks for watching. See you next time.